Good morning, YouTube. My name's Eby, and today we'll be going over all of the Loki variants in the new Pokemon Pavillon variants in the new Pokemon Snap. So hopping right into it, if you want to see which Pavillon you're still missing, go to Pokemon in the photo decks, and then go to Pavillon, and you'll have this option here that says other forms. This will allow you to go through all the forms that are available. There's going to be a total of 20. If you want a list of all the patterns, they'll be in the description below. And as always, I'll have timestamps to each and every section. To add a pattern to the photo decks, you do not need to submit a photo. All you have to do is take a photo of the pattern and it'll be added. Once you take a picture of all 20, you'll unlock the title Vivillon Collector. Archipelago pattern. For this one, we're going to head to the caves. Now we're going to go to the center room and take the alternate path. Once you're here, you should see two car banks in a mole while below you. Throw Illumina orbs at all three of them. There we go. Now Deontay should pop up. We're going to follow Deontay until it stops moving. And throw Illumina Orb at her. Now she'll cast a spell. There we go. Now we can go by the small while. Scan. And take this alternate route. Now we're going to head to the next room. Once you're here, on your right you should see a Crystal Bloom. Throw Illumina Orb at it. And now in the center of the room, a Pavillon should appear. There we go. Get a little bit closer. Take a picture of it. Now you can quit and submit. Continental Pattern. For this one, we're going to head to the ruins. Now we're going to go inside to the center room. Once you're here, our goal is going to be to light up all the Crystal Bloom. Look down, and your first one should be right there by the Houndoom. Throw a Lumina Orb at it. There we go. Now we're going to move on to the second one. This one's right next to the statue. Throw a Lumina Orb at it. There we go. Now we're going to move on to the third one. The third one is not by the statue. It's going to be to the left between the rocks. There we go. Throw a Lumina Orb at that. The fourth one is going to be between the Eldegoss. Throw a Lumina Orbs, Fluffroot, and Scan to get rid of the Eldegoss. And then light up the Crystal Bloom. Now once you see this Golurk, throw a Lumina Orb at it. And we'll move out of the way to reveal a Crystal Bloom. Throw a Lumina Orb at the Crystal Bloom. Now we're going to go forward and throw a Lumina Orb at the center. Now all of them are lit. Now you should see a beam of light in the center. If you see it, you did it right. Now look behind you, and there should be a bunch of Vivillon. Take a picture of them, now you can quit and submit. Elegant Pattern. This one's going to be done in the Elsewhere Forest. We're going to head to the sunny spot. If you need a breakdown on how the Elsewhere Forest works, I'll put a link on the top right corner. In short, we're going to go past this first area, and then we're going to go past the second area, and then in the third area, we're going to take the alternate routes. And then that'll take us to the sunny spot. Once we're here, we're going to head on over by this tree. Take a look in the upper left and scan. You should see an Espeon. Scan one more time while looking at him, then throw a fluff root. Make sure you do not hit him. If you hit him, you will not be able to do this. Now he's going to eat it and run away. There we go. Now follow him around until he sits down. Once he sits... Throw a Lumina Orb at him, and he should clean his paws. Now he's going to run away. Keep an eye on the Saws Bucks, and you should see Espeon show up again. There you go. Now once you see more Saws Bucks appear, throw a Lumina Orb at the Crystal Bloom, and look into this pathway right over here. And Vivillon should appear. Take a picture of Vivillon, and I can quit and submit. Fancy Pattern. This one's going to be done at the research camp at the lab spawn. We're going to move in closer to the Starly over here. Once we're here, we're going to look at the tree and there should be more Starly here. Throw a fluff root into the tree and the Starly will fly away. Now follow them. And a Vavillon will appear. Take a picture of it. Now you can quit and submit. Garden Pattern. This one's going to be done in the park day. We're going to head on over to the bend at the end of the level just before the flower field. Once you're here and you see the tail out, take a look backwards and continue going. And then you're going to see a Vivillon appear. Take a picture of it and you can quit and submit. High Plains Pattern. For this one, we're going to head to the volcano. Now we're going to go to the two Typhlosion at the end of the level on the alternate route. Once you're here, take a look at Typhlosion and start throwing Fluffroot at it. Just keep throwing Fluffroot until he runs away. Now the second one appears, and he'll run away as well. 
Now we're going to keep our camera focused on the ancient ruins here and go down to the ground level. Once you're at ground level, the villain should appear. Take a picture of it. Now you can quit and submit. Icy snow pattern. For this one, we're going to head to the snow fields nighttime. Now we're going to go through both snow walls into the icy cave. If you haven't unlocked it yet, take a look in the upper right corner for a link to my snowfields guide. Once you're in, you'll see the icy snow pattern Vavillon flying around. Take a picture of it, now you can quit and submit. Jungle and River Patterns This one's going to be done at the jungle in the nighttime. We're going to head on over to the end of the level by the waterfall. Once you're here, take a look to your right and scan. You should see a couple question marks up here. Look at them and play some music. There we go, we have the Vavillon up here. There's going to be two types. We have the jungle pattern, and then we have the river pattern. Now you can quit and submit. Marine pattern. This one's going to be done at beach nighttime. Take a look at your right. Take a picture of the Vavillon. There you go. Now you can quit and submit. Meadow pattern. This one's going to be done in the park daytime. The beginning of the level, look to your left, and there you go. There's the meadow pattern. Take a picture of that. Now you can quit and submit. Modern pattern. For this one, we're going to head to the forest. Now we're going to go forward until we see a Trevnit on our right. Once you see Trevnit, look at her and play some music. Now she'll do a little dance and get out of our way. Now scan and take the alternate route. Espeon will follow. Once he stops, throw a fluff root at him to eat. Do not hit him or this will not work. He'll reject it and run away. Now we're going to go to the next area. Once you're here, you should see a superior in the distance. Now we're going to go at regular speed until we're between the trees and close enough to throw a Lumina Orb at him. Once you can, throw a Lumina Orb at him and play some music. Now he should start to go in closer to Deerling. Once he stops moving, throw some more Lumina Orb at him and he should cast a spell. Now we're going to look behind us and there should be a Vavillon. Take a picture of it. Now you can quit and submit. Monsoon pattern. This one's going to be done at the jungle in the daytime. We're going to go on over to the first Crystal Bloom. Once you're here, throw a Lumina Orb at the Crystal Bloom, which will open up this alternate path and take the alternate path. Now do not turbo boost, just cruise normal until you see an IPOM stop in front of you. Once you see him stop, throw a Lumina Orb at him. Now he'll turn into the cave and cut the grass. This will allow the Vivalon to fly away. Take a picture of them, now you can quit and submit. Ocean Pattern. This one's going to be done at the reef in the evening time. We're going to head on over to the Whirlpool. Once you come here by the Raichu, take a look to the right and there should be a Crystal Bloom. Throw a Lumina Orb at it. Now Turbo Boost. And you'll see Vivillon appear. Take a picture of it. Now you can quit and submit. Pokeball Pattern. For this one, we're going to go to the Research Camp and use the Fire Camp spawn. We're going to look to our left and head on over to this Neo one. Once we're here, we're going to take a look at the sleeping Dedene and throw a fluff root at him. Now he should wake up and run over to the side. Once you see him start running, you can throw a line of fluff root leading to the back. There we go. He'll see the line, chase down and go into the back. Now he's going to run into the backfields. And he'll summon Vivillon. Take a picture of him. Now you can quit and submit. Polar Pattern. For this one, we're going to head to the snow fields in the daytime. Now we're going to go through both snow walls into the icy cavern. If you haven't unlocked it yet, take a look in the upper right corner for a link to my snow fields guide. Once you're here, right in front of you, you should see the polar pattern. Take a picture of it. Now you can quit and submit. Sandstorm Pattern. This one's going to be done at the sands in the daytime. We're going to go to the end of the level on the main path. Once you're here, take a look in the sky, and there they are. Take a picture of one of them, now you can quit and submit. Savannah and Sun Patterns. This one's going to be done at the sands in the nighttime. We're going to head on over to the oasis. Once you're over the hill and you see the oasis, take a look at the lichen rock and throw three fluff root at it. One, two, three. Now it should run away. If it doesn't run away, throw another one. There we go. Now we're going to take a look to our right and move in towards the other lichen rock and do the same thing. One, two, three. 
Now she should run away too. There we go. And the third one. One. Two. Three. Now he should run away. Perfect. Now look to your right, and a Vavillon should appear momentarily. There we go. Take a picture of Savannah. Now turn to your left, and there's Sun. There you go. Now you can quit and submit. Tundra pattern. For this one, we're going to head to the snow fields in the daytime. Now we're going to go just over the hill in the beginning by the mammal swine. Once you're here, you should see some cracks in the floor right over here. You're going to look down into the cracks. And there's Vavillon. Take a picture of it. Now you can quit and submit. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Click on the playlist on the screen to check out more of my Pokemon Snap Guides. And subscribe so you don't miss the latest. See you next time.